It was now my fourth straight week without sleep. I had slowly stopped thinking about Susie and had dragged myself into the present. The extra eight hours of my life had done nothing to slow the effect of time. The minutes flew into hours, the hours into days, and the days joined the fast-rushing river of time. The bad news is that time flies. The good news is that you're the pilot. Most of my shifts were now spent thinking about Sharon. I drew her endlessly, over and over. Her pale, milky skin, her delicate frame. In her eyes, I could see the world. I thought about Sharon escaping the life-sapping neons of the supermarket, traveling to South America, pursuing her dreams. I thought about her asking me to go with her, both sharing in our dreams, her love of people and my love of painting them. be my date for the party tomorrow night, then? Yeah, of course. Will you come by and pick me up? Yeah. Eight? Yeah, eight. OK. See you tomorrow. Sharon had broken the spell. For the first time in weeks, I slept. 